Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Danny. Today's video is a really exciting one. I'm going to be sharing our front porch makeover for spring. If you haven't seen our video of us rebuilding our front porch, then I will share that in the description box down below. This porch is still fairly new, but it definitely needed some TLC. So we did pressure wash it, did a fresh coat of paint, and then we decorated. And I try to do all of this on a budget. I didn't set a specific number, but I just try to be cautious in everything. I'm really excited with how it turned out and I do hope that you guys enjoy this video if you're new I would love for you to consider subscribing and if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get straight into it um, so we did end up putting a skirt around the um, house and um, that little area right there it's not gonna stay like that that's kind of temporary and it's mostly because our dogs were trying to get under there and dig so until we figure out something with that um, that's gonna have to stay like that for now but anyway, so we did put the skirting and it looks really nice. Um, we actually had someone do that and they did a really good job. They kind of put like a, like this uh, wooden piece running along and they secured the skirt to that. Uh, we do need to buy a bunch of dirt and fill in. We want to fill in all around the house, um, like down there by the side. It's kind of starting to like drop off right there. So we need to fill in dirt all around the house. And then I'd like to do like some landscaping and stuff, but this is what it looks like. I have a video up of, you know, the porch transformation as far as what it looked like before um, this one was built. So I'm wanting to do like a refresh and then decorate. Originally, I wasn't thinking that I was going to um, paint it or like do a fresh coat of paint. Um, as you can see back there, that's my dogs that dig. So we really need to figure something out with this. Um, we actually are planning on, um, since we live on like an acre, uh, sectioning off a big part of the backyard so that they can stay back there away from the house. But anyways, just showing that real quick to you guys. It's pretty annoying, but uh, we love our dogs. So. <laughs> um, Anyways, the stairs, the paint is starting to like really come up now. So this project is gonna take a few days. Um, I am going to have to uh, pressure wash it first. Um, I think we're gonna pressure wash it to get it nice and clean before we um, do a fresh coat of paint. And um, I'll probably have, you see how dirty this is. So um, I'll probably see if my husband can do that for me and excuse the porch, it is so incredibly messy. Um, life has just gotten away from us. So it's really messy out here but we have toys everywhere and then that uh, playpen right there is because um i think it was the other day that i took the dogs out to use the bathroom in the morning and it was like really wet outside so i put them in there to hold them until i could get them back so i need to put that away all this stuff here our washer stopped working so we went ahead and we bought a new one but i do still want to get that repaired and see if maybe um, we can have a backup washer for like outside as far as like dog stuff. Um, so that's why I haven't gotten rid of that yet because I really do feel like that can be fixed. Um, not sure what the issue is with that, but anyways. So yeah, this is what it looks like and we have a bunch of junk that has just, I kind of piled everything up here, but I need to sort through all this stuff, a bunch of shoes and just a lot of stuff. And then I just got that from Aldi, but it's already getting so dirty. And um, I do plan on doing new shutters. You guys see how bad these are right here. Um, they're like falling apart so they can't really be painted because they're like literally following falling apart so but that is not going to happen in today's video because i would need to do all of them and i'm not just going to do the ones here on the porch obviously so maybe that'll be another project um down the road i'll probably do like a little diy for those and then obviously um we have that cooler right there um i'm not sure if the paint on the on the siding right there can be taken off. I'm gonna look up. I thought I heard somebody say once that if you use like, I don't know if it was oil or, I don't know what it was, something that you can use to get that off. So anyways, my plan up here is to pressure wash everything really well, the wall there, the door, everything. And then I do wanna do um, just a quick fresh coat of paint. So I'm not gonna sit here and like try and take forever on it. Um, I don't know how long it's been since we painted this, but obviously it needs like a touch up. So if I have some more of that paint, I'm gonna touch it up and then we'll have to let that dry. So this will be, like I said, a few days. And I am trying to stick to a budget. So <clears throat> my vision with this uh, porch was to have like a nice seating area over here and just kind of enjoy the front porch, you know, drink our coffee out here. 
So I'm currently on the hunt on Marketplace for a really nice set. Hopefully I'll be able to find something because I did go into a couple of stores and I'm just not wanting to spend a lot of money. Like I couldn't find anything cheaper than like 500 and I really don't want to spend that. So I'm trying to stay to a budget. But I also wanted to see if I could um, paint the door. I actually, this is new. Um, I didn't show you guys, but this door is brand new. So all of this is new and it was necessary. The old one was really bad. But as you can see, it needs to be cleaned and painted. And I'm actually thinking that I'm going to be painting the door, maybe the same exact like midnight blue. So hopefully it'll look good. Um, we'll see if I'm uh, brave enough to actually do it. And eventually the shutters will also be the same color to kind of tie it all in together. And then I want to put, you know, some planters and flowers. And then I also want to hang some, um, some string lights up here. So we'll see. I'm really excited, but I think I'm going to break this video up into maybe two parts, unless I'm able to put it all in one without it being super long. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the before. So it's pretty bad. I mean, the porch is new, but it's just been neglected. So, and I need to clean up all my junk out here. Anyways, this is the before. I'm excited to show you guys after. So I wasn't able to get a clip of us taking everything off the front porch, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys how dirty it was. Um, this is before that we did any of the pressure washing. So after this clip, you'll see my husband uh, pulling out his pressure washer to clean all of this off. It was definitely needed before going in with paint. was the next day after the paint was all done drying and like I mentioned before I did not uh, go in and paint every single corner of this porch there were a lot of spots um, as far as the railings that I did not go in and paint um, I just wanted to kind of freshen it up a little bit and make it quick and here I was just kind of debating whether I actually wanted to go through with painting the door which you'll see later on that I did end up painting it this was something that I was really excited about just when I was about to give up on looking on Marketplace for a patio set. I ended up finding this one. It's in really good condition and it even came with two sets of these cushions. The blue cushions could use a wash but I will get to that. And another exciting thing is that the rug that you guys see there, they actually gave it to me for free. So I got this entire set for $200 which I thought was a steal considering how expensive patio sets can be and this one is in really good condition so the carpet could use some cleaning but honestly for that price um, it was definitely worth it. I also picked up some planters. Now these were a little bit on the pricier side. I want to say they were about $30 
but honestly these are neutral so it's something that I can use year round and just switch out the plants inside but I did end up buying these um, ferns for I think they were on clearance for $11 which was not bad so and I thought that that would be really nice and just make everything look really fresh and clean and then I also picked up these little pillows for $5 each at Walmart. So I ordered these string lights off of Amazon. Originally, I believe the price is $50, but they were on sale for $35. And then on top of that, there was a 15% off coupon. So I think I got them for around like $30, which is not bad at all for string lights. These are 100 feet, as you saw in the box. And they do come with these little screw hooks that I was easily able to um, just screw in myself with my hand. I didn't need any tools or anything like that. So that was nice. These ended up being the perfect length for our porch, which measures 12 by 15. Like I said, I did end up building up the courage to go ahead and paint the front door. And honestly, when you see the end, it was totally worth it. I'm really happy that I ended up deciding to do this. Just in case you didn't see my last porch makeover video, then the color that I'm using here is called Midnight Blue. And I just got that from Home Depot. And like I said, it's the same color as the flooring that is in the front porch. So. I wanted to go ahead and just tie everything together and I thought it would just give it more of like a rich look and kind of help to just hide the dirt on the door. So I only ended up painting the outside of the door but I'm still debating on whether I should paint the inside. You guys uh, give me your opinion on what you think, if you think that I should paint it all around. In this video, like I said, I only painted the outside because I was still unsure about having the door that dark blue on the inside, although it is pretty neutral in my opinion, but you guys uh, leave your suggestions below whether you think I should paint it on the inside too. As for the shutters, I did decide to just go ahead and take the two off that are right on that window on the porch. Um, I am planning on doing a DIY on the shutters, but that's going to be in a completely different video. I'm still trying to decide exactly how I want to do them or the style that I'm trying to go for, but I do know that I want to paint them that same midnight blue. Like I said, I'm just trying to tie in that same color all throughout the house as far as like the main areas, the door, the flooring and then the shutters.
it's time for the exciting part. This is the before and afters. So I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning before we ever did anything to the porch and I wanted to show you guys how far it has come. This was back in September of 2022 and as you can see the wood was rotting. It was really bad. If you haven't seen the video of us redoing our front porch then I will have a link down in the description box below but let's go ahead and get into the after.